Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first product empties of 2022. So surprisingly, starting off this year, I think I have relatively some good empties that I either plan to repurchase or I already have. And as always, if you like these products, please keep using them. If I'm talking badly about them, that's just me. Just ignore what I'm saying then. Let's get started. Let's fix this. Okay. We're starting off the year with some new wall decor. Go check out that video. I did an unboxing and review from Canvas Discount because they sent me, well, they didn't send it to me. They gave me a gift certificate and I picked out what I wanted. But anyways, that's this is from them. It's cute. I'm just going to get this out of the way. I feel like every time I do a product empties, there's always like one or two products that I talk about that technically isn't an empty, but I'm just going to get rid of it. So this is it's kind of dirty. But this is the Maybelline Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. So I've had this for a long time. That's pretty much the reason why I'm getting rid of it. I've had this, I think, at least, at least three years. It's pretty dark anyways now for me. And to be honest, I don't really know why I didn't get through this more. I think I just like to go for like a loose powder. This was really nice. It kind of gave you that airbrush finish. And I really love their Better Skin line. I remember I was obsessed with the concealer. I used that all the time when I was in college. But yeah, this is just really old, so I just want to get rid of it. We have some empties. I guess I'll stay with powders for now. So this was also really old, and when I finished it, I was so happy. But I really like this since it is so old. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. This is a Stay Matte Loose Powder from Rimmel London. I don't think I've ever finished a loose powder, so let me tell you, I was so happy. This was really nice, and if they do still sell this and I see it at a store one day, I will definitely pick it up. It's like a white translucent color. They call it transparent. You could just notice the difference right away when you put this on from going oily to matte, and I thought it was so satisfying. And I really like to use this on my brows because my brows get oily. I didn't use this all over my face. It would kind of just be on my brow, like my T-zone brows included so far i would pretty much repurchase both of those another thing i would repurchase is this maybelline fit me matte and poreless i think i already i don't know if this is my first time finishing it or my second but i feel like i picked this up again because i really do like it it does have a little bit of a sunscreen smell because it has sunscreen in it i mean i don't mind that but i like it for mattifying and it has spf 20 in it as well so i think it's really nice for your skin i think i mentioned too that like this is nice if you're going to the beach and you just want to put a little bit of makeup on this is perfect for that so now something i'm not going to repurchase just because of the price this is also kind of old i was getting rid of a lot of old stuff this was from desi perkins little collab with benefit a couple years ago maybe like three years ago honestly this is just the brow gel the 24 hour brow setter and like i said the only reason i wouldn't repurchase this there are so many more affordable, cheaper brow gels out there. And also, to be honest, I really don't like the wand on it. I like a brow gel that kind of has like a spoolie, like Anastasia's. I really love the one from L'Oreal. This one, I don't really know. It's kind of like a flat, just like wand. It did hold the brows relatively well, but I just don't think it is worth it the price is all. Oh, I guess I'll stick with brows. So something I already did repurchase is LA Girl Brow Bestie. Pretty similar to Anastasia's Brow Definer. What it is, this is the shade Deep Brown. Got a spoolie on the end. These take me a while to get through and I honestly was debating repurchasing because I'm like, I've had it for so long. I like to use it because I feel like I can fill in my brows a little bit faster because the tip is obviously bigger but i did repurchase this already and i think i used it on my brows yesterday you can get this at the drugstore ulta and i really like this they do have a skinnier i think it's like the slim shady or something or did i just make that up i don't know if i might have just made that up if not that's a pretty decent name for a brow pencil but they do have a skinnier tip version of it and i used it for a while but i noticed it kind of was like melting off my face almost okay so i got two mascaras that I love and honestly I'm debating making a video of like my top five mascaras because I've had that theme going on my channel of sharing like my top five foundations concealers I just posted my favorite bronzers so maybe I should do mascaras because I'm like obsessed with mascara my first one is elf big mood I already repurchased it I shared myself buying it the other day in an Ulta what did I do didn't I post a video or something 
I'll go again. I was making um, returns and I picked this up at Ulta the other day. So I love this. Elf mascaras for me are hit and miss. I really hate the Lash It Loud one or whatever it was called. It just didn't work for me. I love the wand, how it's like more of a thicker, got all the little spiky bristles. It doesn't poke my eye out. It doesn't bother my contacts. 10 out of 10. And they do have a waterproof one. But my next mascara I talk about all the time. I don't even know why I'm talking about it again. Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Love it. It's the only mascara I say this every time that I will repurchase, but not at the full price. I will wait. I don't care. I'll wait all year for this stuff to go on sale but yeah this is like the trial size i don't know i must have got it with something in a sample or something like that the brush it's kind of more of a skinnier one for the most part so something i would repurchase even though the price of it kills me i got this for free though and y'all i finished it like there's a little bit left i put it on it's taken off my lip at this point nars afterglow lip balm in laguna i got this free from sephora for the birthday gift it was actually my mom's birthday gift, but I stole it. I've never used a lip balm from NARS and I would repurchase it even though it was like $28. But last time I checked, it was sold out and I honestly was gonna buy it even though $28 seems ridiculous. It's pretty, it gives like a really faint color on your lips and it feels really moisturizing and nice. I'm sure if I go and look, I can probably find a dupe for it. I liked it while it was free, I guess. I've been pretty positive this whole video, but y'all know I gotta get rid of something that, and I don't wanna repurchase this. So I talked about the conditioner from Shea Moisture, and this is the shampoo that I finally finished. I don't know, like there are so many good reviews on this and that's why I tried it, so maybe it's just my hair type and my preference, but the easiest way for me to describe how this felt on my hair was a Brillo pad. My hair felt like a Brillo pad. I went back to Herbal Essence, the Hello Hydration. My hair feels so smooth and soft in the shower. When I put this on my hair in the shower, I'm like, this shit is rough. I don't know. I went back after I bought it to see the reviews like okay is anyone else you know changing their mind some people were saying that there's a lot of alcohol in like a, in the new formula so I don't know if that is what's making it be that way it just didn't work for me is all I'm saying so I'm gonna pass on repurchasing that that's everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you've tried any of these products and your opinion on them and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.